Are you a parent in a child custody case and you're wondering how you're going to go about proving your case? My name is Patrick Slaughter. I'm with the Fever and Slaughter and we have quite a few uh, family law trials on a regularly occurring basis it seems. Uh, I'd be happy to tell you some of the ways that you can look at trying to prove your case. Generally, you're going to try to come up with evidence that supports your position. Now what is evidence? That's something you really need to talk to your lawyer about. Uh, trying to figure out the rules of evidence on your own is probably going to be more complicated than you expect. I know a lot of uh, first year law students who have a problem with it on their own. So I would advise that you get an attorney to help you with that. But I always tell folks there's kind of a hierarchy of evidence. You know, the, the highest, most powerful evidence that you can use in a case is things that the other party has said themselves. If they've said, you're a terrific parent, you have you know, gone out of your way to do all these good things for your child. The children is, are flourishing because of the things that you did. Using a party's statements to verify your position is very, very strong. Underneath that would be documentation. Um, for example, medical records, dental records, school records. Uh, it's really hard to cross-examine a piece of paper. If a parent is claiming that the other parent is not a good fit parent, and doesn't participate in the child's life enough. If I'm representing the person that's being accused of being a non-participatory parent, I'm gonna take the medical records and I'm gonna look at every medical appointment because they will document who's been at each visit. And if I can show that my parent has been at every single doctor visit and the other parent is saying that my parent hasn't been you know, participating, I can use that as evidence to show, hey, wait a minute, this is something that's been documented by a third party who doesn't have a dog in this fight who says that my parent is showing up and acting appropriately. That's really strong evidence. Uh, school records are great because school records contain lots of information, not just tardies and absences, which a lot of people get fixated on. Obviously, if you can't get your kid to school, that's probably gonna be a problem. But there's other things in those school records, like did parents attend PTA meetings and were the parents supportive of the teacher's efforts? Uh, things of that sort. Um, but these are all documentary or documentation evidence that we can use to substantiate or poke holes in another person's case. Um, finally, you start getting into testament, testimony. Um, folks wonder, well, I want to have my friend Susie come in and say what a good person I am. Well, eh, yeah, that's probably not bad. I would rather your, the, your child's school teacher come in and say what a good parent you have been with the child. Um, and then we get asked a lot if folks can give character references or character letters. Uh, the first thing is no, letters don't work. Uh, letters are hearsay, they're not admissible, and judges probably wouldn't pay attention to them even if they weren't. Uh, because obviously they're gonna work for you or we wouldn't be submitting them. Um, the second thing is, you know, generally everybody's got a friend or two and it's not difficult to have your friends come in and testify for you. So judges don't look at that a lot. Uh, they, the same thing about your parents. If your parent just comes in to say you're a good parent, I don't know that judges are going to put a lot of stock in that. I know one judge who's told me personally that he believes that parents have a constitutional right to lie for their children. I think a parent's testimony uh, or a grandparent testimony could be more important if it's corroborating details of a specific event. Say one parent abused the other parent and that grandparent was there to witness it and took some kind of action to address the harm that was being done. Those kinds of, of, of evidence would be good. But you know, testimony from doctors in the form of depositions for proof, testimony from um, other professionals, whether it be you know, psychological professionals, mental health professionals, uh, those kinds of testimony obviously are good. But generally you're trying to find things from third parties that don't have a dog in your fight that are gonna support the things that you say. And then finally, the last piece of evidence that people often discount is their own testimony. You can get on the stand and you can tell your story. And if you tell your story powerfully and honestly, and a judge finds you credible, that can have an enormous impact on your case. And if you get on the stand and you lie and you exaggerate and you speak in such a fashion that the judge does not find you to be credible, that can also have a devastating effect on your case. So never discount your own testimony. That's another form of evidence that can be used to prove your case. So to sum it up, you wanna look for you know, documentation that will substantiate um, your position uh, through pieces of paper. 
You're going to look for you know, witnesses that can corroborate statements that you've made, things that you've said, um, the parenting situation that they've seen, witnesses that have direct evidence or have direct knowledge of your parenting arrangement, and you have your own uh, testimony. All of these are evidence, uh, pieces of evidence that you can use to help to prove your case. I hope this helps. If you're wondering, if you're in the middle of an action, you're thinking, oh Lord, how am I gonna, how am I gonna prove this? Um, feel free to give us a call. We can look at what you have. We can give you suggestions about what you might want to try to acquire. Um, we can give you kind of a game plan on how to go about litigating the, the action. And obviously if we can help you, we're happy to do that. If we can't, we can point you in the right direction. I uh, hope this helps. Get out there, get the stuff you need, prove your point, win your case.